With the release of our new Billet K-Series 106 stroker crank, I wanted to go over a couple of the features on it. Here we have a stock, a standard aftermarket 106, and our Billet 106. We'll start with a stock one. It's a forged piece. Everybody knows basically what they look like. It's a strong, nice piece. When you need a little bit more displacement, a little bit more power, you have to move to one of these. With a stock one, it works great. The journals are in tolerance. Everything is nice on it. One thing we don't like on it is it has cross-drilled in the main and cross-drilled uh, rod journals. After those two go, they drive right through it to connect the two and they put the BB in it. Between the rod throw and that BB, you can get a little bit of crud stuck in there. So it's a little bit harder to clean, uh, not preferred for racing application. Also, you notice the standard counterweights, a uh, little bit of profile on them, but mainly blunt on the leading and trailing edge. When you move to a standard, 106 billet that they're selling now, you'll see that you can get them either a cross drilled or the preferred method is a straight shot where they go from the main right to the rod. Same with this one. It's just a straight shot oiling, no area to get the uh, stuff stuck in and the oiling tends to be quite a bit better. Also, when you go to this, you're going to be a little bit lighter since we can get a little bit better profile in. This one has a little bit better profile, but your lead in trailing edges are still blunt. So doesn't cut through the oil or the windage very well. Once you get to our billet 106, you can see a difference right away. We have a profiled, aerodynamically profiled leading and trailing edge, cuts through the windage quite a bit better. You're also gonna notice we have those uh, direct shot oiling. So you come right in here, and this one you'll come right out the other side too. It's just a preferred oiling system, gets the oil in there a little better, you don't have cavities inside. Also notice on most of the aftermarket ones, you have a teardrop uh, oil hole, which actually scoops up the oil a little bit better, distributes it even more. With uh, the crank here, we have a lightning holes that go from the snout all the way to the tail. It's just drilled all the way straight through. Through your counterweights and your journals, you go straight through there, straight through here. So you have actually basically three all the way through it. That's gonna lighten your crank one and a half to two pounds. You also notice just looking at these two is the finish on the journals. We have almost zero taper and the journals are spot on, on size. This is also right out of the box, it comes balanced. So you can take this out, put it in your motor and you're not gonna have any trouble. But as you can see, looking at the three of them, you go from the stock one, the standard aftermarket, still a great piece, but once you get tars, there's just no competition. We know this is gonna be the one you wanna put in your motor.